If you compare Montreal to many North American cities, one thing always stands out. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. We have a fabulous downtown. It is alive and vital, and St. Catherine Street is our crown jewel. But I wonder if the new administration at City Hall is putting political ideology ahead of what is truly in the best interests of all Montrealers. Now, the idea to turn St. Catherine Street into a one-lane street is the dumbest idea I have heard since the one to close the road over the mountain. But more on that later. Is Projet Montréal attempting to destroy downtown? St. Catherine Street already looks like this and will for the foreseeable future. Not everyone in this city has a bicycle and not everyone likes to ride downtown. Not everyone can or wants to take public transit all of the time. Try grabbing a train from the West Island to go downtown on a Saturday night. Yes, there are still some unbelievers who actually like to drive their cars in this city, which has been suffering from the invasion of the cones for far too long. Now, people have plenty of options to spend their money. Amazon is a big threat. But so are the suburban centers, which offer free parking. And this new mega-project planned for Royal Mount will put even more pressure on Centreville. Playing with our downtown is a dangerous game. And what might even be more dangerous is limiting the ability of emergency vehicles to get where they are going. Can you just imagine a fire truck or ambulance trying to get to an emergency during a traffic jam on a one-lane St. Catherine Street? And now to Dumb and Dumber. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. All the bear could see were concrete barriers and signs saying, you can't get there from here. Proje Montréal must be tone deaf. We need a real conversation before closing down the road over the mountain. It cannot just be on the whim of the Prince of the Plateau, Luc Ferrandez. Now, the opposition party rightly wants consultation. The mountain belongs to all of us. Perhaps we should also talk about why cyclists use the road as a training track, hitting speeds faster than cars on their titanium machines. Better safety measures and lower speeds are the answers, not decisions made unilaterally in the Plateau Politburo. It sure does smell like what the French call la fin de régime in Quebec City. One of the stalwarts this week announced he is leaving. Veteran Jean-Marc Fournier was the glue helping the premier hold things together. The Justice Minister Stephanie Vallée is quitting for personal reasons and other big-name liberals will likely follow. Now, the latest poll has us heading to a CAQ government. The CAQ leads with 32%, the Liberals follow at 28 the PQ stands steady at 20 and Quebec Solidaire wraps up the field with 11%. Now, a lot can happen between now and October 1st, and we can expect spending and more spending and promises to keep, and perhaps even some candy for the English-speaking community. If I were to give one word of advice to the Premier, well, two words, actually, health care. It will sink the Liberals, particularly with a minister who doesn't always seem to listen. Gaetan Barrett has become the lightning rod for voters because it is the one issue that affects each and every one of us and everybody we know. The perception, rightly or wrongly, is that the patient is still very sick. Finally, you knew this would get tongues wagging in Quebec, along with the usual cries of indignation and il ne comprends pas. French President Emmanuel Macron uttered a heresy this week. He said you can protect French by speaking English. He says it shows French is not a closed language, but one engaged in multiculturalism. Now, it is reassuring that the head office of the language can think this way. Can we get the message to the colonies? You don't need to put one language down to boost up another. I'm Barry Wilson. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check on our latest weekly poll on Facebook. We want to know what you think. Thank you.